Welcome to our Agile 30 Weekly Live today. And our Agile call today is Jane. And at Agile 30, what do we do? Number one, we become a part of a thriving community where Agile enthusiasts connect globally. Boost skills with our tailored four-track mentorship program, Agile Process, Technical, Product Development, and Leadership. And number three, we have top-notch mentorship program without breaking the bank. And of course, beyond the certification and training, let Agile 30 be your pers- uh, partner in personal and professional growth. And of course, do follow us for more information. We do always update on all these platforms. So you may follow us for more weekly live news. So maybe I'll pass the session over to Jane. So the session will start now. Thank you, Michelle. So let me continue to let you all know myself. So yes, hi, I am Jane. So I'm also a Scrum Master, uh, which over six years experience. I have a certified in PSM1 and also PSM2. So in my daily job, I also play the software engineer roles. So in this role, I played over years. I also was a programmer before. So I'm from IT background. And then now, I'm a Jaldity facilitator. So that's why I'm here to, read, to help you guys uh, build your career path as well with my story. So what we're actually doing today will be more focused on uh, how, how I start my Scrum Master role, even though uh, without certifications. That's where my story starts. So I'm not the first day enroll to the exam and then the next day I do the Scrum Master. That's my story. So and also uh, I'm going to briefly share like uh, what is my understanding with uh, Scrum knowledge. It's not going to deep. And then uh, I also want to share like after I enroll the training, which is the PSM one before and after, so I can tell my experience. So the next thing I would like to know is it everyone grandmaster role must come with certificates, or you just think that no grandmaster or uh, certificates? I can just so here have a uh, three option: yes, no. Reserve the option three. <laughs> I want to be empathy to everyone <laughs> so that you can also vote for it if you want to. So, yeah, I see quite a number of people say yes, you have to have a Scrum Master certificate, CSM or PSM, only you can play the role. And some of us is saying no, so we have two parties. I'm glad we don't have the option three so that I can understand uh, well like, what you. Are you clear with it? Majority go with it. What is Scrum? So my understanding uh, with a Scrum is a lightweight framework. It's very easy to apply. It's uh, also based in the uh, software companies. So what I understand is uh, you seem to develop software incrementally and iteratively. So it involves only three roles but uh, who is a product owner, Scrum Master and developers. So of course I understand that developers uh, not necessarily must be programmer, but also can be a QE, a quality tester, or even the system uh, release. And also sometimes it could be QA, quality assurance role, but all of that who involve in the, in the developments will be grouped under work. So in Scrum, also, there is a five events commonly called planning and plan the ten days ahead. Of what we're going to achieve within that, and also the maybe scrum. So, if uh, sometimes you will see a group of people stand one corner and then they just meet each other, that's what we call daily scrum. So, some team also call it daily stand our daily huddle. So just like uh, before to work on something and then just uh, a group meeting. And then uh, I also understand that there will be a spring review by more sessions to inspect what you have uh, done for the past 10 days. Spring retro pers- perspective, we commonly say retro. So event, you have to talk about the problem, like how you improve it and why, why you, why you fail the spring goal and so on. 
and also last uh, is optional events which is a spring refinement also what we call spring grooming and then it comes with a three artifacts for that backlogs spring backlogs and also increment so I understand during scrum during my time scrum is the role but then uh, of course there is more deeply discussions for specific for scrum I'm not here to talk about it we just share my uh, what I learned along my journey and also my learning as a Scrum Master who started without any certification. So, my journey. As I mentioned earlier, I graduated with computer science background I'm from my colleague. I love to create new things. So, I always have a new ideas to do things so I don't like to stick with the common way or ordinary way. And then quite good in the drawing, we have uh, some strengths. So when think about I want to be an artist who's selling funding. Then I learned from those uh, the famous artists, they only get the life when they pass away. So I see they have to go through the tough life. So for all the reasons, so at the end, the program will lose. Of course, I think you can deal with only laptop, no need to deal with people. And then with a laptop, with programming, uh, I can unleash my creativity to create the website or create the applications that I, I would like to have the grace of located. And I don't need to deal with people. I think it's uh, very common. Protective or thinking when people pick my tree. So I can myself in the one corner. But when I look at the fact, at the end of the day, do we need to deal with people? How many of you think the same thing, like me? In that material or just being to the industry, you don't need to deal with people. You can uh, settle it with any laptop. Does anyone think the same, like me? If yes, you can click the thumbs up. Also, we need to deal with people to get our work done. We also need to work as a team. Not team member, so it's the people. Right? And the product we developed also is going to use by people. Right? So, do you think now we still need to deal with people? Right. At the end, you can't ever for myself. I work in the in my company, it's an MSC company. It's a Dutch company who develop a software for accountancy firm, so that accountant and the entrepreneur can make use of it. It's a cloud solutions. So the first day I joined, they have a very good onboarding with me with the agile fundamental. So I understand what is the job. It is the four values and twelve principles, and then go through one by one. And then, yeah, it's a big umbrella. And then after it, so many small things, Scrum, Kanban, and then for the for the schooling team, less and then stay and so on. Then I was amazed. At the job. Like, yeah, we are here. It's not as thirty workers. We are many clusters. They are the one who uh, gain the empowerment to do the things. We get to know about what customer needs. We no longer stand behind the seat and do the things that we don't even know who are going to use it. So that's where I uh, amazed with Agile. And then, first, we have a very strong Agile fundamental knowledge onboarding sessions. So the whole company also practice Scrum. So um, I think we have around of Scrum teams uh, for one side of the office for another product, uh, they will be a different part. We think there are also like teams, so we have an like, experienced Scrum Master around us. We want to hear whether they are the first, whether they are Scrum Master, whether so we also have to work uh, with a cross time zone because a uh, product owner name is uh, Netherlands. So for my team, we start with a team. A uh, small team with uh, five to six team members. So I'm one of the developers and also tester because we don't have a tester. We are the only one tester in the team. We don't have quality engineer. So we are the developers and also we cross chat with other team members. Plus. So that's a uh, could be the first nature. So that's how the arrangement. Oh, we will have a restructure time to time. So there's one day, my managers to me like. If you want to try Scrum Master Job. And also during time, the company is uh, also encouraged for us uh, to be able to tell, which means we can have a horizontal skill 
so uh, so that we don't only work developers and just continue with that and with a very strong technical skill for them and have other skills. So it's not really the encouragement. So uh, that's why with that, I play in the software engineer role and also I pick up the challenge to be the scrum master. So I find it easy because the app scrum master have arrangements. So what I do just continue the way and then just improve those uh, those that is uh, imperfect. So that's what I see myself. And then that's where I start the Scrum Master role without certification. So of course, I have to face so, so facing a lot. So I think I still remember my first phase with the seniors. I think the seniors is uh, not so comfortable with the arrangement because uh, I think the senior is a uh, feel maybe a bit confident for me to pick up the role or the seniors is feel not trust me can pick up the role in short period or the, the, the role is unnecessary for the moment. So there's uh, some challenge from there. So the next thing, first I to rectify the uh, the very beginning things I feel different when I jump from the developer's role and to be a scrum master. So in every event, the perspective is different. So I'm also not the full time scrum master. Um, time scrum master plus strategy, and sometimes have to be tested. So just to be clear, I'm taking multiple and not the missing single hat. So that's why every time when I speak something, it could be come from different hats. But then maybe the team members will not defy it. Like, are you a software engineer who's speaking this to me? And you try to convince me to you to work on something? Or are you the scrum master who look at the spring goals and something? So that's the challenge, the transition. So you have to get ready with that if you play in multiple. So there's no clear thing that I made this decision because I'm scrum master, because you're, you are of the team. So what I can do is I have to make sure the decision is a team decision. So that's also what I learned from my experience. So other than that, I also have to rebuild the relationship with the team members because uh, every time the team of uh, pitching or restructure with different team members, uh, Lin and Joy, you have to establish the relationship. So uh, if you remember my first day, I have a one-to-one -one sessions, especially with the seniors case. Uh, it's somewhere at the entry. So I come to a line that I'm taking this challenge, I need your support. I also need to rectify the, the things that the team facing. So I'm doing everyone's good. It's not only for my good. So I'm building this uh, relationship with them so that they can rectify that. Okay, so here today, Oda is only the first E, so I'm doing a proposal of Scrum Master who wants it. So then, where I uh, the, my first challenge and then later on uh, after you get the team members uh, on the same board with you things get easier so you start to remove the impediment like the miscommunications and then uh, miscommunication like because sometimes especially during the grooming the spring refinement product owners say uh, an ABC and then the, the other team members will just misinterpret it could be a month left or the requirement is so what I help is to make sure everyone align with the same same piece of uh, bring everyone to the same page and understand clearly and everyone have the same understanding to the same result so that's how I have to improve and then the next one is the resource relocation uh, I think that time the challenge is also I recognize that you have the resource everywhere. So, especially when I need to eat something, it's a version, a lot of different versions. So at the end, we don't have a single source of proof. So, to help establish that, you know, staff order or somewhere cloud solutions, whereas uh, the Google Drive or OneDrive, to help the team to find the resource, to bring them accordingly. So that's also how I, to prove my value to the team, help to, help to build the efficiency to the daily work. 
And then, of course, I will continue to facilitate the ceremony, especially like the daily scrum. So before that, I wouldn't daily scrub. Everyone is so automatically on time. Everyone stand there. And they just uh, start to report, report their progress or their status. So I don't know whether it is good, but we end on time. Everyone speak, and that's it. So that's how I to facilitate every ceremony. And then like spring refinements, uh, uh, spring trust perspective and then spring planning so some of the ceremonies we will have over time or do that or after take the room and we must clear so yeah that's how the facilitate the ceremonies i get some challenge and also i start to fine tune and then because like i say in the mnc who already run the job and scrum for for a long time so there's some seniors we always have a some theories or some statements, something like, um, of course, we are doing Scrum, but have you ever heard any of that? But you can uh, actually not need to follow this. And so we are doing Scrum according to the product or according to the PO uh, requirement, something like that. That's what we commonly call Scrum. I think for me, the time I think it is a great area. Yeah, if uh, small things, then we can just. Uh, Follow what you say. If it's a big thing, then we have to rethink or cross check with other teams from us. That's how I doing my my work. And so they of you also face the same scrum, but so even of you and they of you heard the same scrum. What is scrum? So it's a scrum routine. So yeah. So we really, so maybe one day I can talk more scrum, but what I have learned before. Or even I can write that to all of you. Okay. And then the story continue when my company get a uh, restructure to so even lesser team members. Well, uh, still remember when I was Scrum Master, there's uh, only three people. And I also restructured into a team until we have nine members in the team. So there's one period also update nine, is 11 team members. But then, uh, I think I, I just voice out to the people manager saying that it doesn't work. Our daily scrum of six one hours. Imagine 45 minutes for nine members. Everyone has their problems. But everyone taken five minutes. So that's why uh so that I try to to people manager try to split the team, not to over nine. Three people is good enough because everyone is clear. I really feel that lesser team member we feel more teamwork because we are very clear who is doing this today, who is need help today. Today, what I have done, I can cross with another things. I can help you on this, I can help you on that. I can do the pair programming with you, I can sit down and hashtag or review your things. So, three people, very fast and efficient. And then, nine members, that's the challenge. So, especially, you know, when you work with the different team members, they will have a different team. People, they need very detail for them to make a decision or for them to answer questions. So it is not easy. The Scrum Master, you need to, what we also call, like, to learn their trick. Of course, uh, I think my last company also had first with some soft skill training. I'm not sure if any of you heard about uh, EISC. EISC training is uh, to learn everyone's tricks. So it also helped me to learn myself better why I will respond in this way when we when all of us face the same. So it is not to for you to judge people like, oh yeah, you are impatient, then oh yeah, you are very empathized with people, you are person when it's not for judge, but help us to have a better collaborate. So I'm not sure if any of you uh, face the same challenge like uh you want to learn traits of the team members you don't understand like sometimes why why he want to have a long answer and questions yes or no why so many concerns what why so many reason and here so if you have faced that just go google at the isd certainly because it helps on the worst place so it could also vary to your your group so that is one of the things to do as a Scrum Master to collaborate with the team members. 
and even collaborate with other teams. So I say every time it's a new challenge, especially uh, after I restructure to a new product team, a small team members, and they sub seniors. And seniors means whatever you say, you need to be confirmed, confident. Otherwise, you will get questions, you know. So that's the time also I learned about my Sohari. If, uh, if any of you ever heard about it, every time reforming the team, you need time to reform and then need time to repeat and improve. And then until the end goal is, uh, you think that I need to step back and without me, the team still be self-oriented and self-management. Stuff messed up. So with the years of experience, I would say uh, I feel grateful, actually uh, pleased and also blessing of some good team members and everyone is very strong foundations uh, with Agile and Scrum and with the grow mindset. So I remember I'm away for two months, maternity leave and there's no Scrum Master role in my team and they still work. So I'm quite proud of it, only for myself, I'm proud with the team. So, and then this one also leads to the next topic. So do we need a Scrum Master since I can be away for maternity leave for two months, right? Do I still need to be there? Are you interested with this topic? If any of you like wonder, yeah, if everyone's self-oriented, then do we still need Scrum Master? Do you think we can talk about it? Yeah, that can be the next topic. So you can dive in more detail. Okay, so after share my long story, let me check. I you a scrum master because uh, I do remember some people say yes, they are scrum master. I guess to become scrum master, or are you a scrum master who uh, would like to enroll the course but you're not sure, or any of you maybe have a or you have a scrum certificate. I have a BSM one, but I'm not scrum master. I just uh, use that to learn my scrum. It could be. I ever met that, yes. And then, yeah, yeah, I see some people also saying that I'm thinking to enroll. Yes, then this topic I can share you. Uh, what is the things I feel or experience before and after the PSF one? I think number of people. So yeah, even any of you can say that uh, I'm not sure where to start. Even I want to be a scrum master, or if or if you heard my challenge, you feel no, I'm not. I'm going to be a Scrum Master, be right? So, yes, for those who are certified Scrum Master, yes, good to know. And then, I hope what I share later also will help you for your future career and to go for your, your next level of your, of your career. And then for those not sure where to start the Scrum, yes, no worry. I'll train you with a Scrum Master even though without any certification. I would say uh, at least you need to have a very good Agile fundamental knowledge skill to be more confident when you secure it. So I also will share where is the place that you can continue to work on. Yes, for those after hearing my story, I step to start with Scrum Master Road. Yes, you are definitely making a good change because now is the year end, right? So next year, I wish you the best for your Scrum Master journey. And then yes, for those who are thinking to enroll training, Feel free to ask me any questions along the way. So let's uh, me to go to the next. What is training about, right? So PSM one. I still remember I took it uh, during pandemic. Only can be online, so it is a two day online training. It's the time when I think I face a bottleneck in my Scrum Master. That I shared earlier, right? I've uh, improved then something is not working. Some I try and error, try and error. And also I have a multiple I feel a bit chaotic. I don't feel myself good enough. So that's why I told my people managers and he very good. He just enroll me for this PSM1. The reason to enroll me PSM1 also because there's no expiry. So for those who uh, heard about CSM and PSM, right? So if you're not sure, what I know is the CSM has the expiry date and you have to renew after certain periods. But uh, I think PSM PSM1 is with you, no expiry dates. So 
yes, that's the reason why I drop you. So it's a two days online training. I also asked my boss, is the online, is it just a theory? Is it a foreign question? We will know, right? Still remember, Navi, he was my teacher and he is very interactive. And it gives me different thinking from. So I would say, instructions I use to validate my agile and scrum knowledge. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of scrum parts, there's a scrum parts questions, right? So, sessions help me to validate things. And before, there's a great area when people who challenge again, then where are you going to help them to understand? So, that's the online training I would say worth it. And it is because it is a public class. The class means uh, it's not only from my ex company, but also other companies joining the sessions. I remember there's a Maybank and Equa and other other companies stuff. So we are in that sessions. So of course everyone of us also switch on the cam even though I'm camera shy. But we still switch on because we feel it's very engaging. So we also get to know everyone because everyone is professional, come here with our problems, we want to look for solutions or valid solutions. So everyone speak up their challenge. So it helped me understand our position, how my company doing. It is not only look at myself, it also helped me to look at how my company is running as well as are we facing the same challenge. So, very luckily, we are still doing good. Uh, we have a very strong agile fundamental knowledge. So, it's a small challenge, this can be just metal. You just spoke to the right person like people manager or other team members and get the ideas and they will validate it when they approve the approach. So it become easier. And then I also learned about their problems. Like, oh yeah, it could be this problem if today I'm not with this company. What is the, the if I join to the next company, what is the challenge also, right? So that's the public class and I, that's why I feel it's very engaging. So of course, after the two day sessions, it is a certified uh, 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 training exam. So I am confident with the assessment, to be honest. And we do like 10 times and every time it's like 100% from pass. So I'm very confident. If we say also, uh, I'm confident because I did this in my company, in my job role, in my work. So uh, that's the easy easy with the question. So with all the confidence, I enroll my exam. So why I feel is it very tough? Is it the assessment doesn't help? No. What I feel, I also try to why it is because there's many myths already practiced in my daily work, which we call big three area. Because when you work with people, there's not very theory saying that this and that, right? But there's so many myths. So we also adjusted according to our daily work. So I thought that one needs to correct. So that's why I fail. And then what I do, the good thing is the first I can fail within 14 days to GSM1, you can get another free password for um, the second attempt, there is no excuse. So for those who are interested to enroll PSM1, so that's the, the confirmed info I can share you. And then, so what I do is after I fail within 14 days, I can also password to be cautious. So to be more particular and review all the assessment. Also, I think Navin is my teachers who share me a lot of uh, study material as well for me to to track to validate again and again. So with that, with cautious, make that confidence. <laughs> and then with again with multiple times of uh, past assessment, I block my calendar with my my uh with my manager so that I don't get interrupt. No meeting, no call, or no urgent issue. And I sit in the and then I pass. And also, yeah, that's how I pass my PSM. Is there any questions about PSM1? You can pass now. And also, it is a HRDC climbable uh, for this uh, training. In training, uh, you want to get your yourself and drop. You can put your corporate cash on this or just talk to me also, can then I can help to redirect, uh, see what we can continue with that. So, yeah, that's a 
this is a hfdc claimable hanging some of you is not sure how it works so you can share my experience how i persuade my manager okay so yes we're going through the training we just get the certificate and i'm going to stick back with the previous role no personal are the things i have to change of course that's the meaning of uh, why and the, the the training not only for the certificates but also myself i'm going to do so what i start i start to be facilitator so what do i mean facilitator means i have the team of whole strong to facilitate the team to do student decisions not only my decision or Jane's decision or Scrum Master decision because uh, I I am a decision maker in the team because uh, usually I I also mistakenly taught myself a uh, Scrum Master then you want to get things on efficient and that means quick decision have to be in place so usually I will just explain what I understand this and that can we go for this option one or two if already then just go for that so I'm just doing what so I'm facilitating questions and facilitate help them to think is this the decision we want to do it together as a team then we get to each other even we have different opinions and also I have to facilitate the scrum events prove it I get to know from the training is uh, what is a time box event so what is the event that a uh, time box first for example like daily scrum 15 minutes not over that because the Scrum, Daily Scrum, it is not about uh, to yourself. It is to find out what is blocking you and, and is the team aligned with the spring goal? Are we on the right track? Are we going to achieve it? What is the, the, the way we can help to achieve the spring goal for these coming days? Are you facing any difficulties? Something like that. Things progress, work in progress for my task. Yeah, I need two more days. I, I say yesterday. I need to do it again and again. So there's a sound to doing that. Every event. So yes, with the facilitator role to be a guru discipline. What I mean guru discipline. <laughs> Not sure if uh, any of you facing the same thing, the bot. Usually when when it comes to the daily scrum, you will have the one of the trust. You already start work on it, but it's still under to do. So I have to be blue this screen. Ah, see, no updates. Uh. No updates. Two and get, two and get, like that. So some people, of course, some people hate it. Yeah. So the group this screen, right? I stop doing that. And I'm also stuck to chasing to complete their work. Checking up. Hey, uh, you know, done with your work. And I just want to be a reminder for a report for someone. So I stopped to be there. That's the first thing we done. And then the second thing is coach. So start to be coach, coach the team. I coach the product owners, I coach the leaders as a coach to contribute in product success. Why, why do you need to coach product owner? So first I'm not teaching him the scrum, how it works, but I'm coaching product owner how to have a clearer scope of the requirements we can help the team. Also coaching the product owner, how do we find a way of working uh, that can bring the team together and sort out all the problems, sort out all the questions. So instead of like, uh, yeah, product owner just give us some story we are guessing here and there and then see whether what he want or what he don't. So we are not doing that. I'm stuck to coach and not to the right persons. And I'm with a vision way of working together. So at the same time, I'm be the impetus. We mean impetus because I'm coaching, right? So to be the communication in between. Because, you know, sometimes people will expect, well, developers will expect Scrum Master pass some sentence to the owner or product owner pass some sentence to Scrum Master. I expect Scrum Master to deliver to the team. So stop a bit in problems. So we'll facilitate direct communication. If anything not remember, just go to the product owner. We stop there and the clarifications. 
and then you can share to the team in a quick way. So it is much more vision, right? A few questions. Uh, Jane, can you can you check with a product owner if this is the right? If we go for this and that, so end up this is inefficient. So that's the things I stop doing, and I feel my work much lesser. You know, but I also start to be the servant. What do we mean servant? Is that means buy coffee to the team members? No, it's not that me. The servant leader. I want to be the leader who. Puts the needs of the team first and help them to develop and perform as highly as possible as they can maximize it. So maximize our talents as well. So you know, some of sometimes they some team members have a very smart trick. So I want to welcome them to share the tips and tricks that we can learn from each other. So it also they collaborate rather than. Why you know this earlier, but you didn't tell me, or when I share something, then you say, "Oh, I know it earlier. I already know this. I knew this. Yeah, I don't. I know." So that's not really a good way to collaborate because you feel like, "Oh yeah, I wish you tell me." So yeah, to be a servant there, them, and and also I, uh, as I mentioned, I put their needs first. So whoever what what is the things they need, who they should uh check on them. Who is the best person uh, they can speak to with their problems? I also to and also I stop the servant means I be the servant and it's being mom. I'm not sure so, not sure if any of us scrum master feel the same. Sometimes you are, you want to do everything, you want to make everyone. Does any of you feel the, feel the same? For me, yes. I have to chase like uh because we want to hit the spring goals, right? I want to make sure if uh, any of you also. Finish your job according to the timeline. Are you stuck here? Are you stuck there? Are you happy? Is the retro perspective make you unhappy? Is the sprinkle you feel not happy? Talk to them. So to keep myself busy. So yeah. So yeah. So I'm not doing multiple things and not to be <laughs> overtake the roles. So at the end of the of the training, also I can tell that. Scrum master role is very important. Important until there is a specific training for it. So important until it's a role for it. So previously I thought it's a more of a mom or maid for the team to the main staff. But after the training and even during the training, so actually scrum master also like another kind of leader and also it can be like a manager if you want to have the title but it is written in different way so i feel motivated i feel myself is valued and of course with the helps me to uh prove my professional so and i also learned that uh what i what i'm doing with a scrum master role is not only lead one team but is bringing the not only for this team, it could be also affect other team and influence other team. I remember my uh, this is we will have a grid. We call grid is a, a scrum master. So uh, all the scrum master also will exchange the info and then each other. So that's continue to grow. Then it is not that a last longer during the time, but I from it. So it also helped me to feel I have. To influence the people, that I also can apply not only for the for the current job, but also for a future. Okay, then I will go for the next one. So, here is the right place. So, I think what Navin also shared me, and also according to the PSM, Jamania is a place that you can search for a resource. It has also a service or the training or the workshop if you would like to head out. And then that is not. But then the second one, which is here today, why I have this reach out the day with me and to share to the team because uh, I have to do it to let everyone learn from the things with us specific thoughts. So because like now the weekly life, the webinar we do it free because I want to benefit people. I want to grow people. That's how I also grow from my. Previous uh, experience that we have with you and all the scrum master there is not very 
very long hours that you to do it every day or one hour from your from your weekly something like that. It's just a have your bi weekly events for the for the guilds like that. So over here at jaldadi.org, I even want to arrange it so that any of you can just uh, to go to check. And also like I I do earlier for one of the blogs compared to the chat. So this is one of the blogs. So I'm also preparing to help the help the scrum master. There will be more and more. Of course the resource not only from Jane, invite many experts. Some is over twenty years. I also invite Nabin, who is one of the people who who think that can help us in this way. So we will have a workshop, we will have the webinars, we will have anything offer over there. So please subscribe there so that you don't miss any info, especially if you want to grow together with us. And then of course the last two is the, the scrum.org and scrumback.org. They're pretty pretty straightforward. Um, right? And then uh, what is my last tip or advice to the people I would say? this to gain experience you will face a lot of different challenges and then again don't do it alone do it together with other scrum master build the network with first with the community so that we group together so that you don't do it alone or you're facing confused or miserable with it or frustrated so get up make yourself perform you learn and grow and then you can enroll to get your professional certificates to boost your uh, resume also and also to validate your knowledge what you need but so the q and a sessions Jeremy, yes you have asked earlier that uh any difference between the certificate uh, certified Scrum Master versus uh, experienced Scrum Master. Yeah, experienced Scrum Master. I think I played Scrum Master role for two years. Only I started with my PSM one. After PSM one, and then I with another. I think I continue work for another one or two years also. Then only I could switch for PSM two. So yes, the experience you you need to uh, how to say um, you need to some more. Just imagine. You know how to drive a car, right? But if I ask, can you drive a car without license? Right? It, it can be it can be the same. So yeah. I can drive the car without reading the manual though. You see? Right? Uh, am I a person of the certified? Right? So am I <laughs> Yes, yes you are. Thanks. Okay, good. The next next question. Okay, I also saw that else uh, is Scrum Master only suitable for a straw bird. So Combination. I think there is a keyword called by by introvert or something like that. So I'm introvert kind of. I did change myself the introvert a little bit so that I can uh, better collaborate with the team. So when I was a software engineer only, I think the most sentence I speak during uh, with the team is maybe during Scrum. I will just speak that. After that, if I have any issue, I just talk to. Someone, maybe a senior, I just talked to someone. I have this question, can I get can I help from here? And then, but when you are become a scrum master, you are no longer the faith. So, but like I say, sometimes people will very long winded. The end, you're being trapped. You don't know what they, you're asking. Faith, yeah, concerning speaking. So, yes, you need to have a little bit of a trait and some soft skill, uh, improving to the time. So, not necessarily you must be like very talkative, must be very party person or very influenced. It's necessary. Just follow your pace. Just uh, you need to be speak out and transparent to the team or uh, saying, hey, I am not so extrovert. Maybe I'm shy. Can you guys me? Just, just pick it up. So I believe we have a lot of uh, questions. They will not say something that they will say you especially when you guys are as a team and some people maybe they are very fierce at the first impression but then when you when you show you are vulnerable they will be more perfect to you so it's the interesting you will find out when you switch to a scrum master role then you will know wow yeah i have a different thought people see you differently so yes so okay to so the next question is uh, from erica so you yeah, have 
saying that uh, coming from an QA role and then planning to switch. Is it uh, more recommended to take a Scrum Master role or product owner? So this one I can share you that a Scrum Master role is uh, more on how to coach the, the team in uh, taking Scrum methodologies. While the product owner, of course, they will be have a different uh, role, different training as well. One is uh, more on deal to deal with the business uh, the stakeholder or the business perspective. So it can be like product manager kind of a, a, a role. So product owner is to to know like how to get the work done and then what to do to the team. So that's how product owner come up with the verify requirements so that we we'll always deal with a stakeholder. And then the Scrum Master is more internally with the team in the corporate. So that I would say based on your traits and your needs, you can see which direction you want to go with more internal or towards the, the practice. So Jeremy, so yes, you have another question. So the retro, I believe that you'll face some bottleneck in your retro session. Am I right, Jeremy? Yeah, correct. It's quite a boring session that you ask me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how, how to make it more interesting? I uh, just trying to explore. Okay. So uh, there's also a few ways you can do it. There's a one, two, four, four principles also. You can also search for it. And also there's a dot voting. Dot voting sessions is a... Uh, I, I will not break to keep it here in this session because I think one can we can have another separate session. More focused on that topic. For now, there is some keyword I can share you so that you can also work with it. There is also, in order to use the template, I believe you already explore many different templates like uh, stop, start, continue, or good, bad, idea, something like that. I believe you already have that yep. in your mind. Hmm. Yeah, there is a new things like a uh, dog wood thing, which is bring them to talk about it or the link coffee. This is all those uh, keywords you can try to search for. And then the one, two, one, two, four, or principle, so you can also go through. And then uh, from Agile Mania, there is also some posts. We'll have a discuss of this. Maybe I share it later with you. So you can also uh, join the, the the team part, or you can also in the LinkedIn so that I also can share you more. And okay. yeah, yeah. So. Also, the retro session, sometimes people feel boring because they don't feel it brings values to them. It's like, we are not going to talk about things or we are not going to talk about them, right? Even experience the retro perspective become a work ceremony. Correct. I think Even from the experience point of view, right? Because I have run sprint up to current sprint is 26 or 27. Uh, 27, sorry. So I have been running retro for 27 times and yeah the team feel like oh uh, it's keep on repeating the same thing although the content might be a little bit different but it's like we for the sake of the ceremony we have to attend it yeah yes yes i totally understand so mm. yes it's a time to bring your team hey team how do we maximize this structure of perspective instead of turn it into mandatory boring you can talk then I also speak frankly to the team saying that, hey, we're doing it in a work ceremony. Let's not do this. How? Can we talk about this? How to improve our retro perspective? Yes, you can. The retro perspective already. So, yeah, Jeremy, I hope uh, I give you some ideas and some keywords to see uh, how you can experiment differently. And um, feel free to reach me out again so that we can continue connect. And then uh, there's also another question from Anonymous is saying that necessarily of a Scrum Master usually higher than QF. So I don't have answer for this. But I think every job, every role, so lowers fairly the risk. So I would say it is more like a, you have to know what is the, whether it's a, a trick you want to have to pay. So I can take on this. And then, Jeremy, yes, you're asking like how to break the silo working team through Scrum team. Yes, I believe this is a very common challenge, especially people don't want to take accountable 
they are saying that uh, I just started my work then and I want to uh, catch up with other things. So if you are on fire, otherwise I will not you. Right, right, that's a common, right? So to break, to make use of a spring goals. Bring everyone to one podcast and then first the spring goals is not come from you, it come from Scrum Master or not come from Tech Lead or not come from Project Owner. It's the whole team. Is it realistic? Is it achievable within these 10 days? Is it something that uh, can motivate you instead of stress you because you don't want to have a goal that cannot motivate you, right? That is no. So, and then what is the current market of a Scrum Master versus a Project Manager? So, I think this one also relates to the, the salary, right? If a salary, but I think what we shared earlier, uh, but, the, but then whether the demand thing, what I see is the Scrum Master role is start to increasing. People start to see this role as uh, important now, especially when uh, many companies start to want to transform into a job. So I would say it is a demand, but is a project manager not needed, not necessary. It still depends on your nature of your business and your product. So how do we implement a job way of working into a cost optimization organization and a job way. This is a cost optimization, so much more expensive. So I think Jeremy, if you would like to go in more detail on this one, because I think this is uh, not enough for me to advise on this. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Uh, can a job apply in all industry? If not, we we the industry like this job, so I would say uh, even some agile is supply in the famous one, Toyota, supply agile company. So the ease of it is very easy to apply in their daily work. So to manufacture their cars, so is Toyota NT company? No, no, right? So. Yes, there are uh, many different methodologies under a job umbrella. We can have a, a different pick for each of it in the future. So for your answer, yes, we can apply for different industry. But uh, I wouldn't say all because some of it may be the way of working or in the daily work is uh, still really different or goes as it has to step up with the traditional way. So... With uh, the industry that not cannot apply this uh, agile, so something like um, it's, it still depends with the framework you uh, with which uh, methodology you are applying according to your also your nature, your business nature, and also your team. Uh, the minimum to form a scrum team, if today we can scrum, minimum to form a scrum team is only tribute. It's good enough for you to just your sleep. So yeah, Kanban. So if you need to know more specifically, you have to share me which uh, industry you are checking. So yeah. okay, answer so your question. It's not necessary. Must be the the IT. So you can be applied as you think your daily work, your daily job. Even if uh, there are some tools like free to myself using also Trello or some uh, Sana, as long as you have the bot or even you have a white bot, you also can do it, right? So it's very lightweight. It's not that expensive. I should turn away. Most important is the value. So if there are any other questions, you can also unmute yourself. Not necessarily you must in the chat. So yeah. You come here. Yes. Uh, I huh. sent a question there. Do you have any non-negotiables when running a Scrum? Because, what do you uh, mean non-negotiables? Non-negotiables meaning that uh, you must run a retrospective. You must do this. So, because sometimes yes. um, dealing with organizations, in my experience, sometimes I have to do like a hybrid approach. Uh, like maybe, uh, maybe initially I don't, I don't uh, get them to write the story points yet. But uh, sooner or later they have to do it lah. You know, so, but for yourself, do you have any things that you say, oh, if I run Scrum, these are the things that we definitely have to do from day one? I would say all the events, yes, you have to do it, except the spring grooming, the spring refinement, which we say, the spring refinement is the event that uh, you you groom or, or refine the group certain criteria together with the team. So that is optional. As long as your product block has enough for you to plan for next spring because sometimes you tend to have a two hours meetings right 
and then you have for such a long to do list, which you think already can work. So there's no point if you during the two weeks for uh, review, spring review when you in, when you get the feedback from stakeholder, you realize that's the not the things they want, right? So yeah. you can improve and change the idea. So so that's the the spring uh, review helps also for Jeremy. So with two weeks, you have a spring review your result. So and also you direct deal with the customer. So it help you to know what they what the customer want. And you know what is the value they are concerned when you demo. So compared to traditional, is uh, beyond the two weeks. You maybe after half year only I can share to the customer what you want. But then maybe after half year already, pandemic happens, things right. So that's uh, one of the strength uh, compared to the traditional way. So back to Ahmad. Yes, the uh, non-negotiable things is, uh, for example, spring requirements. You only do it when necessary. Other than that. The from retro or uh, the spring retro perspective, it can be very powerful tools. The team managed to I know it has a many steps to take into the transparency and the vulnerable things to be so yes, that's the uh, every event come with the the values. It is not a uh, saying that the event is uh, no value. So we just sit in for two hours and everyone silent. Then we can so we need to think about how to improve it instead of abandon it. If we abandon it, then we don't have a spring retro. Means you don't know where to improve and why you feel the spring goals. No one cares. So if why you spring why you feel the spring goal and you don't care for you to set the spring goal because you can feel it. You achieve spring goals or you feel the spring goals doesn't matter. So right. So it it has all the consequences. So all the events in place we so Ahmad and I are very efficient. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, how oh. in an engagement? Okay, so an engagement with an external customer who will be the who will be the product owner? Can a scrum master override the old suggestions or ideas? Uh, in some bread also have a scrum master and product owner in the same person. Multiple hats, like my case, I'm a software engineer and scrum master. So they are person also product owner and scrum master. So they will be a multiple. So in case I think you allow with uh, over it, if you mention about with different people's product owner will be the one who deal with the stakeholder first. Is is his job to come up with the priority of the product list. For example. Let's take a Facebook as a, a example so that everyone easy understand. So Facebook today say the customer say I want to log in to Instagram account with Facebook. That's the customer request, right? So product owner saying, oh yeah, there are so many people asking for this for this uh, requirement for this request. So let's do it for the coming spring. So I will just drop it in in the product. First. So that's the first. Then we need to have a login page, for example. We need to have a login page with uh, Facebook or over the Instagram. Should we click sign in, then it redirects to Facebook account, something like that. So we will have that. Then later on, we will have a, a thing. So for example, after login, maybe I want them to also share address, personal info. It will be the priority. So what is come next? What is the come first? So product owner, Job is to get the maximum value to deliver within the ten days spring, for example, ten days spring, and can pay more to the stakeholder in the days. And also the team, if you want to override, for example, Scrum Master all the development days, giving the scope is too big, too complicated, or non-achievable. So as the spring refinement sessions, the events, you guys sit together and talk about it. Right. Can we override? Or I don't think this is good ideas. Like product owner, so when looking at the the perspective of the customer needs during our last review, we say uh, the customer saying the profile picture at the right hand side, not main prior because there's more like cosmetic things or cosmetic features. Yes, you can voice out then. Product owner and the team have to have an agreement saying that yes. Uh, why these things is uh, so urgent to do because uh, we have a thousand requests asked for it. So once we launch it, we will definitely have a win-win situation, so that the team know that 
do my product owner will prioritize in this way or uh, like product owner also have to know why things be over so it is not come from scrum master but from the scrum team so John saying that uh, to go and open a book and just erase product owner suggestion but uh, scrum master need to help the developers and the product owner uh, to facilitate them to make use of spring refinement have uh, come to agreement why are we doing this what is the value we bring to our stakeholders so do answer all the questions uh, do answer on our menti.com and then we shall compile everything up thank you jane for a very insightful session today and thank you everyone for participating okay thank you bye bye we can connect again in the future thank you everyone for your time and yes our session comes to an end so if you have any questions do follow us on our socials and also drop us an email at ask at or uh, linked up with uh jane via linkedin